I'm a big uh, believer in psychological pain. And so I, I've really liked that. I, I just described a version a moment ago of Schneidman's Suicidal Cube, which is a very nice model that I've liked for years. Um, Israel Orbach talks a lot about psychological pain. I think psychological pain is a very critical thing for us to be looking at. I have to say, though, lately I've been um, really struck by the role of what, per, of what Schneidman has referred to as perturbation or extremely agitated states, extremely ag physiologically and psychologically very agitated states where people can't sort of bear to be in their own skin. And so I'm pretty struck that, that, that in terms at least imminent risk or um, what David Rudd referred to as a warning sign that these highly agitated states are being sleep deprived and getting in a really kind of crazed state um, or uh, that that's really driving a lot of the actual behaviors. The other thing that my group looks at is we do a lot of qualitative research where we ask suicidal people to, to write down um, or describe aspects of their suicidal thoughts and feelings. And we really see um, pretty distinct, especially in adolescent populations, as a reason for dying, um, different kinds of versions of escape. And so my question always is, well, I can understand why you might want to escape these feelings. Would you necessarily have to kill yourself? to meet that legitimate need. So one of my arguments is that suicide is actually a pretty logical thing for a lot of people that suffer. The question is, do you have to kill yourself to meet the same legitimate needs? So if you have needs for control or power or to let people know that you suffer and that you want them to get that you're suffering or that you uh, want to end your pain or you want to take a little vacation from your suffering, all those are legitimate needs. So the question for us clinicians is, can we sort of engage and recognize and be empathic of the suicidal wish, as Dr. Orbach would say. Uh, and if we're empathic of that wish, are we able to offer an alternative way to meet those, the reasons that people get suicidal in the first place? Can we help them problem solve, uh, tolerate uh, these agitated states, uh, do different things to problem solve, to meet their needs differently? That doesn't cost them their life, literally.